The move that nobody thought would ever happen is actually happening in 2025 as Lewis Hamilton joins Ferrari. Now, during the offseason, I was going to make a video dedicated to Lewis exclusively for him. Similar to the one I made for Sebastian Vettel a few months back, we are basically going to put every single car that Lewis has ever raced in Formula 1 into a race together and compare them and see which one comes out on top. Now, guys, I'm going to challenge you to try and smash two thousand likes on this video hopefully we can get there subscribe if you're new links down below to all the cars in this one and let's get into it starting out with the penultimate mercedes which lewis will ever drive of course we're going to see him this year suit up in mercedes colors one last time but this is the most recent car the 2023 mercedes w14 we then go back another year 2022 the mercedes w13 a car which was a race winner in the hands of george russell but not lewis the mercedes w12 a controversial season lewis just missed out on his eighth for some people he won his eighth but this car did win the constructors championship the all-conquering mercedes w11 from 2020 we have two versions of the car in this race the blackout version and the pre-season silver arrow we then go back to 2019 the best looking mercedes of all time the w10 a very dominant car and the best looking mercedes for me by quite some way the w09 the first of the halo era mercedes f1 cars and of course the season in which they went toe to toe with ferrari funny old world seven years later how that ends up and of course the predecessor the one thing i want to note is lewis's helmet i hope we get this version of his helmet at Ferrari, the kind of warmer yellow, which I think matches the car really well. And of course, this year they also went toe to toe with Ferrari in the last of the Haloless F1 cars. We now go to the kind of prime Mercedes 2016, 15, 14, starting off with the 16 car. Lewis, not a champion in this one, it was his teammate Rosberg, but a very, very strong car. The 2015 car, Hamilton's third championship before, of course, the hiatus in 16, then returning to form in 17. The original, where it all started, the Mercedes W05, the first of the turbo hybrid machines, which went on to win eight consecutive constructors' championships. We then go back at the time, V8 season, Mercedes has first won the W03 from 2013, a car which he won a race in and also got a few poles. We then head back to Lewis's final McLaren season, 2012, and we have both versions of the car with both different noses in this race. 2011, a season which of course was dominated by Sebastian Vettel, but McLaren on occasion showed real incredible pace and did win a handful of races that year. 2010, the car with the F-Duct, a brilliant piece of equipment, and to be fair, a title challenger, just fell short the final hurdle, but a very strong package. Dark Days here, 2009, a car which did actually win a race, a couple of races, in Lewis's hands, but at times was a real diva. And then we arrive to what I consider the golden era of F1, the back end, the kind of aerodynamic wing machines. 2008, Lewis's first title, that f famous crazy race in Brazil, win the title on the last lap on the last corner. After just missing out in 2007 with its predecessor, his debut car in his rookie season, which also should have won the title, but let it slip through the politics and, you know, bad management. But for this video, we're not driving a Mercedes or a McLaren. We are driving a prancing horse. I have put together essentially a quick mock-up using the 2023 Ferrari Monza Special Edition livery, putting Lewis's numbers on the car, on the nose and the side pod and his helmet into Ferrari red. So let's go around the track at Canada and let's have a race. Now with that done, of course the news over the last 24 hours means I have to race in red and essentially give you guys a Ferrari preview. So let's get into it. Hopefully it's a fun race, eight laps and we're doing it at Canada because this of course is the scene where Lewis won his first race in Formula One and is one of his most successful circuits along with Hungary. So currently we're gonna try and uh, just get through the traffic here. We're gonna tread on eggshells and take it easy as we look to try and make some progress here. The AI are not the best on the first lap, so we're just gonna have to try and survive for now. And hopefully things will improve and the race will open up as we head through the laps. Currently 17th, 
looking to make that 16th as we pass the 21 Mercedes around the outside. Now heading down the back straight. Very narrow circuit as the 21 car goes back up the inside. But we're going to make the pass. Now getting a run on the 2019 machine and 2020 cars. Up the inside of the hairpin. Trying to wind that lock onto the car. Power down on exit. And we're away. So already P14. We'll use the RS because the AR use it. So we'll keep things relatively fair as we do get overtaken. But I think that's a 2020 pre-season car in silver before it blacked out. So back down to 15 for us. We should be competitive in this car. Even though it's not the quickest on this grid, it's still one of the better ones as we go outside to inside. Slight contact. We're also going to pick off the 2015 car that is right there. And now we have the 2017 machine just ahead of us. As we're up to 12th already. Oh my god. Okay. We will keep going. And pretend that we didn't see anything. Oh my god. 2012 car is going to be a bit better in the hairpin. Or at least I thought it would be. A lot less weight in that car. So a lot more agile. Here we go then. Down the back straight. Going to stretch our legs and test out the straight line speed. V8 versus turbo hybrid powered V6. We're going to go around the outside and turn in commit to the corner. I am very well aware of taking him out there, but either way, P7. That was never going to work. However, we send it into the chicane. Make up another place. Good stuff. So P6. And we've got a couple more here. Battling away. 2010. Two wheels it through the chicane. Versus either 2007 or 2008, one of the two. You can tell by the shape, it's a lot lower and wider. Oh my god, I've been moved in the break zone. We get the car stopped. I thought I was going to T bone. Oh my god. Right, so Canada has been scrapped. The racing just wasn't working. The AI were a bit meh. So we're going to move to Monza and have a simple, straightforward Italian Grand Prix Ferrari soil. So let's see how this goes. Already off to a decent start as we carve our way through. We're going to just slot in here and try and find a bit of space into the first chicane. Be respectful and mindful of the AI. I do not want to step on any toes. But there we go. Already P11. So the AI going pedestrian pace into the first chicane. And we're about to be P10 here as we, I believe, try to pass a 2016 Mercedes. Nope, 2015. I was wrong. Not able to outbreak it though into the chicane. So we're going to have to just wait as we head to the Lesmos. Lesmo 2. Just got to wait a little bit longer before we can really go for it. Here we go. Now we can open the DRS and get into a straight line speed battle. And we're going to pretty much clear it into Ascari. Like so. Now I've got to wait and be patient as we get the exit here. Trying to get past the 2014 car. We're going to get also the 2013 car in the process. Into Parabolica. Into downfalls. And through we go into 8th place. So, good start. Good first lap. They are behaving a lot better, which is uh, nice to see. So now then, down to turn one. Let's see who's next on our list of cars to pass. Second gear, flick it right, flick it left. We've got McLarens on the agenda. I believe this is a 2012 McLaren. The question is, which one of the two is it? Once we get a glance at the nose, I'll have a better idea. Pretty speedy on the straight though, so not quite able to get past as of yet through the chicane. Just had to hesitate on the throttle that I thought was going to run into the back of him there, so just had to wait. Through the Lesmos. Getting a decent run, but we'll just hang back. Good exit on Lesmo 2. 
and this is the late 2012 McLaren, so not the starting season one. Getting a slight toe from ahead, but the McLaren fights back. Side by side into Ascari. We make it work just about, no contact. And we go around the outside and pass. So that's now P7. Although well, the McLaren may well fight back here at this rate. Into Parabolica. Carrying good speed. And we're going to get a nice exit and a nice run onto the pit straight here, which could open things up once we get the DRS open. Here we go. Down to turn one. This is the other early 2012 season McLaren. A little bit of brake and release, brake and release to try and go through. One of those McLarens getting airborne on the curb there. This is the 2011 one. You can see by the side pods as we look to go through. Turn three, Cover Grande not able to get through, so we're going to try and tuck back in to get a toe into the chicane. Down the inside we go, bumping over the curbs. Slight contact, but we're through. And that's now P5. Up next, 2010 McLaren, I think. F Duck McLaren error. No DRS, of course, on that car, so. We could have an advantage, no curves, no ERS either. You can see we're gaining on the straight here. Into Ascari. Up the inside we go. That's another nice pass as we now lock onto the 09 McLaren. This one does have curves, which can be used to fight. And you can see it's pulling back ahead into Parabolica. One's a bit wide though, bit of a mistake. And we're going to go through and punish. And that's already a top three. We are on maximum difficulty, by the way, so we're doing pretty much as hard as we can. Up next, it's the 0807 cars, and we're going to get the first one easily. The second one almost there. I thought I was going to T-bone him for a second, but we're through. Not sure which one I just passed. I want to say 08, and up next is going to be 07. Hamilton's first ever... F1 car. So let's get after it. Just got to try and keep it tidy through the chicane. Like so. Got more downfalls. Grand effect working nicely here. V6 versus V8. Just got to wait now to get the power down. Here we go. DRS should help us get the job done. That's actually the 2008 car, I think, actually. So we passed the 07 first. But through we go. And there we go, into first place. So, swift progress. And we've still got half of the race to go. So, I hope you guys enjoy my best of these remaining laps with engine sound for you guys, for your hearing pleasure. Uh, so we see a bit of a preview of Lewis in the Ferrari for 2025. Here we go then, last lap of the race, could this be the scene in 2025? Lewis Hamilton making his way 
into Parabolica for the final time to win the 2025 Italian Grand Prix. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Two different circuits, two different races. This one though was a success and we win as Lewis in red at Monza beating his past cars in Formula 1. There we go guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and race. Regarding the other cars Lewis has driven, the victor was the 2009 McLaren, so make of that what you will. To be fair, the 2023 car started last and finished third, so interesting. The 2020-2019 cars also rose up the ranks, so a bit of a mixed bag. Either way guys, like and subscribe, links down below to all the mods, check those out, and yeah, cheers for watching. As always, a big shout out to the members of the channel for all the content that I make supporting it, commenting, all that good stuff. As always, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. And yeah, guys, that was a preview of Lewis in red for 2025.